is TJ Kern. I'm in beautiful British Columbia. Riding on the Whistler Blackcomb Glacier. Today I'm gonna teach you how to do a barrel roll backflip. When you're coming in on the approach for a backflip, you're gonna wanna know the necessary speed for the jump that you're coming in to hit. And you're gonna wanna get to a point where you know you can drop from and straight line it into the jump and you're gonna have good speed. And once you figure that out, you're gonna wanna stay flat base, a little on your toe edge, and just go in for it. <laughs> send it, send her to flat. When you get to the takeoff and you're trying to do a backflip, you pretty much wanna just be thinking in your head like you're doing a backflip on a trampoline or off a cliff or any other place you would be doing a backflip or you've done one before. Just come up, stay, get a little bit on your toes, pop, and just throw your head back. Alright, when you're in the air doing a backflip, you're going to have your rotation going. The main thing is you're going to want to stay committed. Once you start your rotation, you're going to want to keep going with it. Once you get about halfway through your flip, you're upside down, you want to have your head back. You're going to want to try and spot the snow and spot your landing. See how much time you have left in the air. And decide whether you want to stay tucked how you are, keep your rotation going the same speed, or open up and slow it down a little bit. was uh, actually at Mount Hood. It was real slushy snow, perfect for learning new tricks because you know you can pretty much land on your head and you're gonna be all right. Uh, we just built a real steep lip, maybe waist high, salted it real good, made it real sturdy, and just uh, went for it. <laughs>